people what's up coffee explorers in this video i'm going to tell you some things that you need to know before you come to santa Ana. check it out Well, one of the first things you need to know when you're coming to San Marini is this place is not cheap. It's not really designed for the backpacker or somebody who is a budget traveler. You can do it, but you're going to be eating out of grocery stores. There's only one really affordable hostel here on the island. It's a decent place to stay. That's where I've been staying. I think that you know, all, all the Santorini dreams, they come with a minimum of a $200 price tag. I was actually talking to some, a couple from Chicago that they actually were paying $600 a night, and that's only because of COVID prices. Usually the place they were staying in was $1,000 a night. So uh, that's something to really keep in mind. I found that, that your average meal price here is about $20 to $40 a person. That's quite the sticker tag, but I think the experience that you're going to get here is absolutely amazing. Another thing that you want to know about Santorini is there isn't a whole lot of really good coffee on this island. This right here is a Greek coffee and I'm at the, the 180 degrees cafe. I'm waiting here for the sunset but this coffee right here it's a pretty good coffee. Six dollars for this little tiny cup of it. Uh, <laughs> highly recommend it. It's definitely, this is 180 degrees. Yeah, it is a great place to come watch the sunset for sure. This is going to be a spectacular. One. It can be kind of loud at times for sure. <laughs> Most of your sunset spots, you're going to have to get reservations for, so you can actually get a good spot. Not all of them. The bus system here is absolutely amazing. When I got into town, I took a cab from the airport to the hostel that I was staying in. It cost me 35 euros, and I come to find out that I could have gotten there on the bus for about 3 euros. That would have been a whole lot better. <laughs> All the buses that come to this main station in Fira, it's like the hub for the entire island, and it's a really good system. From Parisa, to Fira, it's about two euros twenty, and then from Fira to Ia or Fira to Akrotiri, it's one euro sixty for each way. And you just, you know, you just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and, and you have a great time. They say that the best sunsets that you're gonna find are in Ia, but I, I gotta disagree. I think it's probably either right where I'm sitting right now or at the Santos Winery. I haven't been there but I have seen the, the layout of the sky over there and it looks absolutely phenomenal. You're definitely going to want to try the Greek yogurt. I mean, it's Greek yogurt for a reason. Go eat seafood. Seafood is what you want to eat when you are here on this island. I highly recommend Francesco's over in Parisa. Um, it's one of the less expensive places to go eat, and I have the absolute best squid I've ever had in my life over there. And I love squid. The squid is absolutely phenomenal. Put it this way, I've been on this island for a week and I have eaten at Francesco's a couple times and the squid both times. And their tzatziki is really good and their salads are absolutely phenomenal. Another thing you want to just gorge out on here is the cherry tomatoes. Oh my God, these cherry tomatoes are phenomenal. These are just a few things that you might want to know before you head on out here. Uh, be sure to have a nice steady bank account. When you pay with a card, uh, they're going to give you the option of converting it into U.S. dollars or just do it in euros. If you just choose to have it pay in euros, your bank will convert it a whole lot cheaper. I'm just going to go ahead and 
get ready for the sunset and I'm gonna call it an end on this but I will leave you with this beautiful sunset. Stick around, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff and enjoy the sunset. If you found any value or entertainment in this video, I would definitely, definitely appreciate it if you were to give the video a like and maybe even subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends. It would definitely help me with the algorithm. That would be awesome. Thanks.